Uh, on the Six Inch Podcast. Woo! Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Birthday, boy. <laughs> Episode 25. The right. That's the right one, right? Well, yep. Are we sure this time? It's 25. It's 25. <laughs> it's 25. <laughs> Just making sure. Not 24. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's better than 24? <laughs> oh, God. It's 25. 25. <laughs> Before we, before we get more excited, let's introduce ourselves. Kevin. <laughs> Jamal. Cleo. Jacob. Lamb. Kevin again. Hmm? All right. <laughs> 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 All right, so where are we going we're, we're, we're to start here? We're going to just jump right into the Yeah, let's just jump into Sony. Sony and Disney, Disney. deal. How the, exciting. The Battle of Titans. The Battle of the Titans. Uh, Titans, I mean, Sony's not much of a Titan compared to Disney. It's more of God versus demigod. Like <laughs> the Titans versus gods, right? <laughs> Disney's well, the Titan. Is. Sony's the god. Or, or, or like agree. a mouse fighting Japanese people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just a lot of back and forth banter. But so, so far from what we are hearing or reading or whatever we've come across or crying over is that they're i guess sony or disney is kind of backtracking on the initial deal that they set forth because the from what i know back when they took them which was what in like 2015 when yeah. they put them in the um, civil war civil war movie they were like all right we'll do like a joint thing where Sony's responsible for funding all of the solo Spider-Man films, and then Disney gets like the exclusives for when it comes to like streaming services or anything in the future. And blah 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 blah. So the merchandising like, right, cool. and merchandising and stuff like that, right? Because you know Disney still does the um, XD, and they have the Spider-Man cartoon series on there. So whatever the case may be, and they were going to initially do I think it was twenty five percent of all takes. Yeah, or it was like thirty five. It's like 35%? Yeah. Okay. And then now they changed it, and they say, all right, we want 50-50 now. And so he's like, no dice. <laughs> so, like, so here we, we are. We want all of it. We want right. all of it. Now it's, now it's back and forth, changing this and that. So, I mean, I know you guys have been reading a lot of stuff. <laughs> it's greed. It's greed, It's yeah. like this whole thing. I mean, yeah, Disney initially came out to say, yes, we want more profit from the Spider-Man movie, because like, um, for far from home, like one billion, right? Mm-hmm. Like yep. that's 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 a lot. International and, and, and here, yeah. Yes, yeah, that's a lot. For especially for like a solo Spider-Man film. Mm-hmm. That's oh yeah, that's the highest grossing solo Spider-Man movie to date. Mm-hmm. It is. So it beat one of them. So like you got you can already see like Disney's head like you see them hit one billion, and then they realize that oh, so, um, so oh. they gets the majority of that, and we only get like you know what was it twenty. Um, 5% growth. 25%. 25%. 25%. Yeah. And they're looking at it like that. And then, that ain't the right man. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, we need more. We need more. We need more of that. Mickey Mouse is looking at his accountant like, how much do we got for those, those movies? 25%, sir. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. He's like crunching the numbers. Right. <laughs> And they're like figuring Mickey. out how much they're missing out on. Gosh, we're losing profit. We're losing profit. <laughs> we're right. losing, but like, we ain't getting much out of this movie. <laughs> like, hmm. I heard that they got um five percent first dollar gross for like so like I guess like every Spider Man movie that comes out like the mm-hmm. first day, yeah, they get five five percent of that, and plus all the merchandising, which is a lot of money. Yeah, that's where so, the most money comes from. Yeah, yeah, and the then merch. now they want a fifty fifty co finance. Mm-hmm. Then from yeah, it's it's crazy because from my like from what I've heard around, basically like Sony's gonna lose a lot of control of their main like characters. So I don't blame Sony for kind of backing down. True, true, yeah. true. Yeah. But Cause, like, because that's a pretty bad like business deal <laughs> from what I've heard. Yeah, because no, they, they already give them like control like. After, like, they get the first part of the money mm-hmm. when they release it, and then afterwards, Disney gets the whole money from, mer- you know, from, right, from the merch, from and, the merch else, and the, the movies playing everywhere, on the TV, on the streaming services, they right. get that money. Gotcha. Gotcha, so gotcha. for Sony's like, well, hold on, we gave you, like, everything else in the future, you know. Right, so, and then Marvel Studios gets creative input, so they get to decide how the character is displayed and the story they go with and the 
designs and stuff. So yeah, no, it's a lot. You wanted to say something, Jacob? I, I'm I'm just trying to keep my composure, bro. Because <laughs> <laughs> when I heard the news first time, bro, on Twitter, mm-hmm. I was mad. I was I was mad that like I was like boiling hot, like this anger inside of me wanted to punch somebody near me. I didn't care if it was my mom or something. <laughs> I don't care, bro. Mama, come here. <laughs> Sorry, yes, mom. Spider Man's gone. Sorry, mom. I didn't mean that. But, you know, like anybody in my general direction, I did not want to look at them. Even my poo poo uh, teenagers at work, I didn't want to see nobody, bro. I was so pissed. <laughs> is, that like, what, is that what happened with you the story is that, <laughs> not mean, to distract what we're talking right now <laughs> boy you, you don't know the half of it <laughs> but yeah like hearing the news of it it was like a hard blow because it's like like when I finally watched Far From Home and I saw the major <sighs> cliffhanger mm-hmm. I was like bro you can't do this now you really can't. This is like something that's going to be crazy. <clears throat> and we need to see how it's going to go on from here. And that's sort of like another thing, because like Disney sort of played themselves for making that sort of cliffhanger, because like now Sony have that sort of advantage of like, all right, it's like a sort of a good point, because they still need Spider-Man to continue, because if they don't, Marvel's going to be like losing like a, not, well, not really losing, but like, it's going to be like very hard for them to like, you know, continue on without having Spider-Man in, so, like, having right. them, like, fish Spider-Man, like, at least, tr- like, try to fish Spider-Man out, or, or, like, like trying to, like, you know, like, keep the deal that they had initially, mm-hmm. it's just, I don't know, it's just, like, I mean, it's, it's just, it's because it's, it's, they, it's just, ah, because they, they, you know, all that, it's smart, but greedy, man. <laughs> damn, <laughs> it's that, it's that setup that they initially did after the, the, the movie, right, and like they made him the face. I'm like, all right, yeah. they made him the face. And what what it was is like, Disney was like, okay, we're gonna have this weird negotiation. Let's try to make this Spider Man movie like like a selling point to Sony to say, hey, let's renegotiate, make a good deal, right? Which I guess it did because it made a lot of money. Yeah. But then didn't fall through because, you know, the power of you know mommy and daddy's greed. <laughs> it was too strong. It, it, it like kind of really overpower each other, and, and it just you know this is what we get now. It's a bunch of fans just angry. Yeah. And both of them are not working out their differences. It is a bad timeline, y'all. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that. Um, I was doing some reading, and supposedly Sony, supposedly Sony offered like a seventy thirty deal. They get seventy, and then Disney is thirty. Like, like, we could Disney easily like 50/50. we could easily like point blames on both Sony and Disney because they both sort of that flaw, even though Disney's more on flaw. But like, come on, Disney! Like, you're already getting everything else, man. Like, merchandising alone is like it probably like lot. more than half of what the movie made. But the, the yeah, and onwards, <clears throat> yeah, like all the other properties. But and then Sony is like. So he wants to prove himself again because yeah, that's what because, that's part of it. Yeah, because they made two successful. Like I look, we all know Venom. One of us like him. All the rest of us we the don't. Majority, <laughs> the majority, but it it did surprisingly well in the box office. Right, right? and then you know, Spider Verse. Right, that that those two movies made Sony like you know what, we don't need Disney. You could do this. They yeah. throw themselves too much. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about so, that. What's the, what's the story of uh, Icarus flying too close to the sun? <laughs> but the thing, the thing about it, this Icarus is that he has leverage. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> like, you need us. Right, you need us. Because <laughs> you need to use our characters and our likenesses. But yeah, yeah no, it is, it is frustrating. And I think, too, what Disney is seeing, just to play devil's advocate, is that they pretty much brought Spider-Man back into, like, the popularity aspect of comics and movies again, like he was when, you know, Tobey Maguire played him. Yeah. And so, again, now that Sony's seeing it, too, and they're like, yeah, Spider-Man still is, like, the poster board for Marvel. Because, I mean, that's what he was yeah. when he came out. 
even if you look at the comic books, he has a little logo on all the Marvel comics, right? Yeah. So now that Disney's saying, like, look, we use our cinematic universe to make him big again, I need more cut. Because now you all are benefiting off of our popularity. Because we're putting them back on the on the front spot here. And Sony's like, no. <laughs> no it's we, like, he's still our character. We have the trademark. Like, no, we're not giving it to you. Because this is the deal you made. So I get it. I understand it. But at the same time, they're like, all right, we done put all this work into it. So now we need a bigger cut. Because now you guys are like, are starting to really reap the rewards of what we've put together for the past 10 years. And so, yeah. They just want to buy it in. So it's like, nope, can't do it. Mm-hmm. Because we know how valuable Spider-Man is when it comes to Marvel. And they're just not letting them go. I mean, because they're really the only ones left that's hold now. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. everybody, I mean, Fox already folded because mm-hmm. they couldn't financially, they just couldn't do it. Mm-hmm. And after flopping with X-Men, <laughs> that was it. <laughs> that was it. That movie did so bad. Yeah, it did so- worse than Fantastic Four. <laughs> and that movie was awesome. <laughs> Which one? Well, I mean, they all were pretty bad, but the last one that came out, come on, we ain't got to talk about it. Absolutely trash. That last one was just awful. But My, Michael B. Jordan? <laughs> yeah. yeah but, hey, Killmonger. Yeah. <laughs> Forgive him. From- <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> right, they get to re- play uh, other roles to bring themselves back. But, yeah, so they, they had to, they needed it. They needed to bail out. Sony doesn't. Sony doesn't need to bail out. No. And Sony is, like, really, like, they're really feeling themselves. Yeah. And... With with everything that's with everything that's coming with uh, with Disney, it's like is they're not they're not willing to budge for none of those deals no, at all because they're deal. like they're really they're really banking on making their own Spider Universe oh, <laughs> with God, Venom. That just <laughs> with Venom. I mean, they Sony already have Spider Verse. They yeah, couldn't branch that's, out from the animation. That's what really bothers could've. me so much. They right. could have had their own they, like, universe. Man, like, the thing is, like Disney, yeah, they probably like Spider-Man, but they still had the property of Spider-Man. They could have used yeah. that hype from the movie Spider-Man and the hype from, you know, the success of um, Spider-Verse to like, right. make their own superb Spider-Universe that, you know, right. like, Marvel yeah, can't touch. Films. Right, exactly. Because they'll be able to introduce like other spider man from other timelines and other universes yep, and Disney won't be able, to be able to touch none of them. They only have Tom Holland and that Spider-Man. That's it. Yeah, and then when the contract is done, that's it. They and they can continue on. Route. They should have yeah. gone that route. And that was, and like, come on, y'all. <laughs> you wouldn't degree. even be here by now. <laughs> oh, it's man. Degree. Y'all it's don't. Degree. Are you ready for a Spider-Verse with <laughs> with, with Venom. <laughs> Actually, I am. Sort of. uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of interested. I'm kinda, you're interested? I, think, yeah. I think they could do a Venom with um, Spider-Verse. That would be pretty dope. But, like, damn, Sony, man. Come yeah. on, man. <laughs> but that's that was in the works that they wanted to make three movies. Well, Sony wants to make movies with um, with that, with Tom Holland and Spider-Man mm-hmm. and uh, Venom. Oh, okay. So they do want to combine them. They want to combine them, right? But this is like, hold on, we we want, we still want to work with the character, right? They have a lot set up already. Yeah, a lot built. So no. <laughs> 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 Once we're done, then you can do whatever weird storyline plot that y'all and just I guess pull out of rabbit's hat. I guess that's the problem because like they got to wait like another what ten years, just yeah. like touch them again. Yeah. And then by that time, they're probably like either done with Venom or. Like, it just stays back here, and then they go out to with that, and then they have to bring Venom back to it. Oh. Right, and by then, everybody's going to be over it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, really, it's been 10 years. Make a new one. <laughs> Stop mm-hmm. it. Yeah, and I don't know how the creative forces for those movies are going to be, because you know, Venom, that was such a rush movie, you know, and mm-hmm. the story didn't really make a whole lot of sense, and so try to bring this Spider-Man after... If you watch Venom, they kind of establish like there was a Spider Man, but it's like he's not, nobody talks about it. Right. And so it's just kind of weird to just introduce, you know, Tom Holland and Spider Man fighting, right. Right. Just fighting Venom while you just made a, you just made a movie of Venom without Spider Man, you know? <laughs> in the first place. And, yeah, in the first place. So it's, so it's really hard and like, and kind of difficult to like understand like what. They're thinking of what, right, their plan, yeah, what their plan, and to, how they're gonna put the, this character that's already another, established in another, another yeah. franchise, and they want to bring him here 
to elevate this franchise where like it never really had this overlapping thing that make any sense. Right, there's there's no connection between the two because now if I'm bringing Tom Holland into my Venom movies, does that mean they were around during the events that took place? Were they affected by Thanos? You know, are they in the same universe? Or is this just something totally brand new and we're just using Tom Holland because of his likeness and because he's Spider-Man? Yeah. You know and that's when people will be watching, they'll be like, oh, there's some loopholes here. This makes no sense. <laughs> you know what's one way they can do? Fix it? Reboot. <laughs> <laughs> that's what people are so scared of. Uncle Ben. <laughs> Uncle ben. <laughs> that's the number one thing people are scared back of. Back on the menu, boys. <laughs> if, if I see another <laughs> Uncle <laughs> Ben. <laughs> Uncle Ben Rice. Bro. <laughs> I, I, I'm telling you, Spider-Man tragedy. I'm telling you firsthand, bro. If I see another Uncle Ben uh, introduction and he dies again. In the cry face? No, no, no. I'm going to the ambulance, bro. <laughs> That's it, bro. So many heartbreaks, bro. Who posted the article that said they were going to get Tobey Maguire to play Uncle Ben? <laughs> <laughs> Have y'all seen that? I have not seen that. That's what they, said, they said if they rebooted, fans were saying that y'all better have Toby Maguire for a little bit. Yo, it's funny. They just kill him off. Yo, it was funny when they were doing when they were, the cycle. When when Disney was initially doing Spider Man, they were thinking of rebooting again, uh-huh. and they and they talked to Tom like, "Who you want to be, Uncle Ben?" It's like Toby Maguire. He wanted Toby Maguire. <laughs> yeah, because that would have been great. That would have been I would awesome to see him as Uncle Ben. <laughs> Everybody play their little reprise roles. That's funny. I mean, Sony, going back to Sony, bro, like, uh-huh. I got so much hate for him in, in some type of way. Like, we could have got Popeyes. Huh? Oh, <laughs> 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 Sorry, they out. They all out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> man. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Popeye the Sailor Man, they took him out. They canceled oh, that. Just, Popeye the Sailor Man. And they yeah. put Emoji Movie. So this is why I have my trust issue with, with Sony. And that's they, the thing. We we never know where they're going to take it. Exactly. Their, uh, yeah, their creative differences. It's like... Eh. It goes from Emoji Movie to Spider-Man into the Spi- universe. Uh, Spider-verse. Spider-verse. Right. And you're like, like, like this the is the same studio. It's saying? the same studio that did it. And you're like, come on. This is the same studio that did the Emoji Movie. <laughs> did into the Spider-verse. Yeah. I'm starting to think it was intentional. <laughs> right. We'll give them a shit first. <laughs> And then we'll give them this masterpiece. <laughs> and they'll be like, what? And they'll forget all about it. <laughs> I know. Uh, I think, like, most of the time, their masterpiece is kind of like, well, here's a, here's Spider-Verse. Enjoy. Oh, you like, like, y'all, everybody likes it? Oh, my God. Oh, like an accident? <laughs> yeah, it was an accident. <laughs> right. All their, all their stuff is very intentional. It's never, it's never, it's it's like, never so planned. So everything they right. think of, it flaws, but everything they think, like, eh. Let's give it a try. Right, it's throw it out like, and, it, and it blows up, right? Okay. Yeah. 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 Like, just wait until uh, Venom 3 happens and you see an emo Eddie Brock dancing in the street. <laughs> 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 then you know. Yeah. Oh, no. And he's already emo in that movie. But even right. more, like, dark. <laughs> <laughs> dark, dark, dark. Dude, <laughs> you can't you can your razor blades? <laughs> dancing with razor blades. And that end credit scene was fucking carnage. <laughs> There's gonna be carnage today. Oh my uh, god. With that, with that awful wig he was wearing? With that terrible wig <laughs> that Woody was wearing. Jesus Christ. Woody Allen's man. terrible wig. And then after that, they put, they did a little uh, and other end the credit with in, Into the Spider Verse. You're know, like, yeah. oh come on, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Too much. Too much. So, well, I mean, so at this point, I mean, is there. Is this like it? Is this finalized? Sony's like, nope, no deal. Well, Disney's, the other, the other things Disney's are not going to give up. They're not. No, the other things are rumors. It's all rumors at this point, right? Yeah, because yeah. I think because with the out, outcry of people like us, I think right, the they have concerned. to, at some point, both of them have to come somewhere in the middle ground. Yeah, to because satisfy our needs. Yeah, because at because we're the consumers. Yeah, at the <laughs> at the end of the day, <laughs> they both won't get any money. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. That's, that's it. Like they pull out, and Sony's like, "No, nope, Disney, you know, just can't come to an agreement." And people are gonna be like, "All right, well, Sony, we're just not gonna watch none of your trash Spider-Man movies." Like <laughs> but but here's the thing: there's a uh, some uh, demographic of people who still like, 
uh, I don't care. I'll watch it anyway. <laughs> That's true. I mean, you'll, you'll always have that. Yeah. You'll always have that. Yeah, they don't. But trust me, it, it's it's not going to be enough to like keep them afloat. Yeah. That- Trust that's me. that. That's not the fans that you really want to market to, especially when it comes to superhero movies. Right, you want to keep the hardcore fans. Yes, because if you need the loyal base, if you say fuck like us, it's like okay, all right, <laughs> all right. She was happening in the Star Wars, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody goes to the park. They're about to shut it down. <laughs> so keep playing. Yeah. Well, Star Wars fans got Disney shook right now. They have to make this up. They, they're episode. scrambling. They have to. That, that's that's their hell Mary throw. Like, they, like <laughs> right. They throw a prayer like. So that's why they got all those spinoffs coming. Yep. In? Yep. <laughs> yep. That's why I'm like, ooh, ooh, Cold ooh okay. World. Okay. Oh, okay. Benefit. Or? How about the movie? Nah. Because yeah, because <laughs> <See? laughs> yeah, I'm not looking forward to. It. I'm looking forward to the other stuff. But not movie, the movie we sleep. Stuff. Clone Wars, we woke. <laughs> yeah, Clone Wars. I'm ready. I'm ready for Clone Wars. So. Uh-huh. Best believe. Uh-huh. Now yeah. we got you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You ready too? Yeah, well, they... Knows how to reel you back in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it always comes back to the C plus. Right. All right. I guess we'll just keep watch. We'll see. I'm sure they got yeah. the uh, the CEOs and the accountants sitting in a room somewhere. Hold up, Mickey Mouse. Yeah, <laughs> I'm right. The Mickey Mouse Overlord. And then Sony just bought out Insomniac, right? Didn't they buy? Yep. Insomniac yep. Studios. They buy so now Insomniac's gonna be doing only exclusives for Sony now. Yep. So I mean, the PlayStation buys a whole which bunch makes... of Spider Man spinoffs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, which makes a lot of sense because whatever they did, else they make for them, they did Ratchet and Clank. Right. They did Ratchet and Clank. And they did this uh, new Spider Man. Spider-Man so. Fortnite. Get out of here. Get out of here. They already got Thanos in there. They, 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 they <laughs> All right. All right. Before uh, we move on, uh-huh. I I saw this real recently on the news. Uh-huh. Um, despite, you know, all this going on between Disney and Sony, they announced Disney Junior Spider-Man series for... <laughs> Disney, Disney Junior Spider Man series. Yep. <laughs> yeah, announced it like a few minutes ago. This. <laughs> oh my god. So Disney's I mean... still dropping. <laughs> so. Because yeah. they already have stuff in plan. They just, trust me. Disney waits for no. This man. one's planned. Disney. The waits MCU is planned. Yeah. 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 Because they already have it set. You saw the timeline. So they let. So something let this fly, but they won't let the MCU fly. <laughs> <laughs> dumb. I know. It's dumb. It's stupid. So what can you? I'm playing games. All right. Can you keep, playing. Keep, playing. keep playing. Keep playing. Yeah, we'll storm into Sony. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, everybody, Naruto runs to the next one. <laughs> Just a bunch of Japanese people throwing uh, PlayStation at you. Oh. <laughs> Get out of our property. Oh. <laughs> Go home and play Spider Man. <laughs> right. <laughs> Learn from this. <laughs> Learn from this. I just hope it gets better, man. I just I do too. I hope <laughs> just finish it off. Just let right, Tom Holland do his stuff. Yeah, please finish it. Finish his arc. Don't make him die. Just let him leave. Right, exactly. Yeah, don't make. Just him. let him leave. All right. Mm-hmm. Let let him take Venom with you. Like again. just just give him like a, one movie where it's like the first half of the movie it's him, and then they just bring in like Miles Morales or something. <laughs> <laughs> let him take over. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'll take that. Please. I mean, there's been some talks. I mean, rumors going on with that black kid from Stranger Things. He might be. Oh, for real? I didn't think they might make him Miles Morales. I mean, what about Will Smith? He's everywhere. (laughs) (laughs) Will Smith, shut the hell up. (laughs) He's too old. (laughs) Maybe he could be the dad. (laughs) Yeah, we already have the uncle. He's played by Donald Glover. (laughs) (laughs) Which I don't even see him as a. Bad guy. Yeah, I, I know, right? I, I, I can't see it either. Mm-hmm. I can't see it either. But whatever. We'll, we'll see what we'll see what happens. Fingers crossed. Toes crossed. Eyes crossed. Whatever. We'll <laughs> yeah, like, I just want to be happy, bro. <clears throat> <laughs> I just want to be <laughs> happy. Everybody's all somber now. We're all sad. <laughs> I mean, they... Mm-hmm. Okay, but they have announcements. There's some good main announcements of Black Panther. Yeah, no, I mean, there's a lot of other great stuff to look forward to. Black Panther 2. Um... 
some more Star Wars series coming out that they drop. What was the other one that we were just looking at? The Eternals. Um, Eternals. They show the um, costumes and them all in set design. So that was that was really dope. They look really good. We got an official poster for the Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. That looks hell really good. Hell yeah. I just, I just want to say that I do like Wanda. Like, I don't hear people talk about um, Wanda so much. Mm-hmm. No, people so, love her a lot. Really? Yeah, like, I've, I've always heard, like, people wanted Wanda to be in the Doctor Strange movie. Well, there she is. Yeah, but there you go. Wish. She <laughs> should. Yeah, yeah, she definitely should. And apparently she's going to have a, a role, of, like, a big role or something. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Nice. That's good. Yeah, no, because Scarlet Witch is, like, OP. Yeah. In Marvel. She, she made Pat Stanos piss his pants. <laughs> 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 well, no, especially when we had the X-Men. Oh, Ooh, yeah. How's the X-Men. Yeah. Remember, House of M, maybe one day we'll get that. <laughs> well, one can hope. One can hope. Well, if he did say, Kevin Feige did say, mutants. Yeah. yeah, he said the word mutants, so we're going to see where he takes it. Definitely going to see where he takes it. And then they're still releasing stuff now, too, so as we check back up, we'll see what else comes out. Mm-hmm. All right, so we're done. We can lay Sony and Disney to rest for now. <sighs> Mommy and Daddy, please it. stop fighting. Right, yeah, please. I feel better. You're hurting the kids. I feel better. Get custody on the weekends. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Tom Holland is like, mm-hmm. I, know, right? I don't want to go. <laughs> right? I don't want to go Disney. I don't want to go Disney. I don't feel so good. Don't worry. <laughs> we got you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mr. Stark. <laughs> <laughs> the whole squad, whatever it takes. <laughs> <laughs> the whole squad, whatever it takes. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine, I just imagine, like, Mickey Mouse, like, Tapping on, like, on his shoulder. Uh-huh. He's like, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. I'll well, work out soon. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Tom Holland. One day. You come back. <laughs> you see him walking off the distance. <laughs> <laughs> Goofy, get the Glock. <laughs> <laughs> the right? Just in case. <laughs> we can't Son- have him. Sonny just... Sonny just... Sonny just <laughs> Sonny just be like... <laughs> Don't touch him. Alright. He does hard boy. You can't keep your windows closed. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Sonny just throws a PlayStation. <laughs> Another PlayStation. Don't worry, we got our Disney Plus. Switch! <laughs> Switch quick! <laughs> Too funny. Too funny. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, goodness. Alright. Oh, Let's man. just move on. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> so, uh, Netflix, they brought back two uh, classic Nickelodeon shows from the mm-hmm. 90s. Yep. Rocco's Modern Life and Invader Zim. Yep. Now, I didn't get a chance to watch Rocco's Modern Life, but I've been hearing y'all talk about it so much mm-hmm. and doing your feedback on it, on the story and the animation. So, I guess just overall, I mean, did you enjoy it? Does it remind you of the old school Rocco or... Is it uh, something completely different? So I watched it with Priya. Okay. The last podcast we did. Uh-huh. And I could say the character designs in the world and the layout, it's just like regular, original rock world. Okay. You know, what I could say about the story is a little, it's, it's something that felt and he and uh, Jacob. Jacob could could attest to this. It, it mm-hmm. felt like it's filler mm-hmm. because it felt like it's something that could have been told better in a <coughs> ten episode series mm-hmm. rather than like an hour and a half, mm-hmm. forty five minutes. Yeah, forty five minutes. Forty-five minutes. Yeah, forty five mm-hmm. minutes, which is pretty short for a movie. Right. Because <laughs> they go on in this long. Well, I'm skipping ahead, but they go to uh, the. The story is pretty much going on a journey and finding somebody. Mm-hmm. And they, in between that, they, they uh, Rocco's experience modern life in the, in the sense of the... Uh, in, uh, right, that's what the show is about, right? Yeah, yes. Rocco's modern life. Especially in this decade with, so, with <coughs> smartphones and, you know, and, and uh, what's it called? Those... Uh, Drone. Dr- drones. The drones. With drones and... That's pretty much Smart technology. pop culture oh, reference, yeah. right. more or less. Not really. No, they actually don't do that much pop culture reference. Well, just like, you know, the the modern society. Yeah, modern like, society. Of, right now. Of right. all the things that people are so obsessed with, like 
people getting likes. You know, people wanting the validation from strangers online and all right, that right, stuff. Right. So they kind of show the absurdity of all of that really well in that movie. Mm-hmm. And they and they went to and they went deal with topics with family. And I think overall, with all these things, I, I don't you I don't want to spoil it for you. No, go ahead. This fine. Oh, yeah, it's fine. Came out like what? Like <clears throat> a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Hey, but even still, it's it's Rocco. So like. yeah, okay. So so <laughs> they they go from like. The absurdity of all the things that people, uh, you know, that people go crazy for in the internet, mm-hmm. and then they delve into like family and how dynamics can change when one one person in your family wants to change. Mm-hmm. So one, so who? What's his name? Uh, Ralph. Ralph, <coughs> who was Miss Mrs. and Mrs. Big Head's son, right? Disappeared, like disappeared, left, and never came back mm-hmm. because because <laughs> Ralph changed to a woman. He yeah. wanted to find. He told his parents that he wanted to go find, find himself. Himself. Yeah, and, and he's he, been gone since. Yeah, and, so yeah. he so he never returned because he kind of knew that his father wouldn't accept him like that. Mm-hmm. But then, in, in the course of the movie, he realized like, oh, but my I love my father. And, you know, all that stuff. And everybody says, oh, we're all together. <laughs> His family. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of, so like the story is not really original because it's been told, like the major arc of it. Mm-hmm. Father doesn't understand son, the decision to become a woman. You know, Ralph, who's now Rachel, Rachel saying, ah, you know, I knew that would happen. And, you know, tries to leave and then Rock was like, No, it you you know, it could you know, it could work out and, and then Rock would, you know, work makes things work out at the end. Yeah. You know. Uh really? I mean it I mean it's it's like it was Rocco's own selfishness that I mean it wasn't like an intentional get it's, together it's it not a touch of get together but it, it was his selfishness, selfishness but yeah. the thing is is like it, it comes from like his it came from like him being selfish to want to get his uh, his old show back yeah that <laughs> Rachel created right and then <laughs> and then it became him trying to fix a, a family at the end just to get his show just to get his show and then when he got the show he didn't like it because it was, it was he, he changed yeah it was different he because he, because he, <laughs> he had a new character, had a new, new, character uh, new character, a baby, and Rock was like, what? I don't want this. It's changed it's, too much. <laughs> it's pretty much, um, this, this, this whole special was about like, like to me, it felt I, like, um, how, um, today, like our world now, when it comes to entertainment, mm-hmm. how like we're like so stuck to the past of all that nostalgia. Like how we always yeah. go on Facebook and talk about myself. Oh, you remember this show? How good it was. Let's bring it back. Let's bring this back. Let's right. bring this back. Let's bring this back. <clears throat> and um, it's not <clears throat> always going to be just bring it back. There's always have to be some type of change because yeah. we're evolving too. Mm-hmm. Right. So we have to approach some things differently. So like in Rock of Wild Life, um, Rachel changed, and the Fathead was just like two couples. The cartoon series that Rocco liked is called The Fatheads. Mm-hmm. And there are two, two couples who just, like, no, hit each other periodically, whatever. It's like, that's their basic cartoon, whatever. Mm-hmm. And when Rachel added the, the new character, it's sort of like a symbol of, yeah, it's the same show, but hey, like, it still could be better because, like, everyone else was laughing when, that sh- when they came through, except for Rocco because it's like, it's not my show. Just like how, sort of different, but how we feel about Teen Titans or Teen Titans Go. Mm-hmm. It's Teen Titans, it's, Teen Titans Go is not our show. But it was revitalized for like old and new fans. Mm-hmm. So if whoever likes it, you like it. Rocco didn't like his, but he had to accept change regardless. Yeah. Like right. moving forward. Because okay. he'd been stuck in like the nineties. Right. Because he was like in space in the rock like the last episode. Uh-huh. I never saw the last episode, but apparently they um their Rocco's house got you know, connected to a rocket and it just yeah, launched into the space and they just space. Yeah. left it on that. And mm-hmm. then when they came back it was like in the future. So yeah. That's the one thing I really like about, like, the movie, because they literally, like, finished from, like, what, the 96, like, 1996, I think is when they canceled, uh-huh. and they're, they're transitioning now to 2019, <coughs> so it's, like, a giant gap, so yeah. I like that transition between, you know, 
this whole time nostalgia, like you know, back in the day to like this more techy modern world and how things are moving faster and all that. I mean, that's just me. I really like that no, transition. That's, that's, yeah, yeah, so, that's true. No, but that that's, that's the true. thing. It's like it is it's so funny because there's a lot of plots into it. So it's like Rocky being selfish and it deals with family, mm-hmm. but overall is pretty much you know accepting the change. You know. Right. Because that's pretty much what it was. It's like when you watch when you watch it, and you see how the story progresses in the movie or the short, mm-hmm. right? It really tells you how you know. Out of all the absurdities that people are right now, that they constantly want to like, they constantly want the old stuff over and over again, and and now that we are now evolving and we have technology and we're depending on phones and stuff like that. We just have to accept that that's how life is now. Right. Like we're all going to use phones. Yeah. We're all using the internet. We're all playing with, you know, drones. Yeah. <laughs> flying them over and people's heads. And that's why I sort of like that near the ending, whatever spoilers, when, um, because, you know, Ronco was like, he, he was not with a tail t- Like, at first he was, but like, it was getting too overwhelming and he was like, all right, I just want my old stuff back. And then like, near the end, when he realized, all right, let's get these two guys together, he actually went out, got a drone, and took um, the father to go see his um, daughter. And it's like, all right, so you see, he adapted to, you know, right. he was the best of what's going on now to, like, go ahead and change something. So even though he didn't like the change, it's like, all right. Um, I just wanted to say that, the like, even though this, the movie was, you know, that's, like, the whole message was, like, pretty good and stuff, it wasn't, Funny. you know, it, yeah. I mean, Rock and Roll Life wasn't always that funny, <laughs> but it it was the the, the thing about Rock was like there. a very uh, <laughs> very heavily um, satire. Yeah. And so yeah. a lot of the jokes are like when you watch it when you're a kid, well, you know, go it flies over your head. Right. And this one, like now that we're watching it, we're adults. The jokes don't really fly over our head because we know what he's trying to say. So it's like so this. it kind of it kind of feel like. Yeah, we get, we know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we like old shit. Yeah, we know. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, that, and that that was part of the charm of the old one too. Is there yeah. was a lot of like underhand, like crude humor. And if you didn't catch it, you just missed it. Yeah. Like the entire time, Rocco worked for like a phone sex hotline. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think a lot of people paid attention to it. And, there, and it was on a it was on a children's network. <laughs> and this and this and this one there there's a there, they made another. Uh, attempt with that with Mrs. Big Head where she had like her, her nudes and uh-huh. like, oh my god I'm here I'm supposed to be this right <laughs> they're not supposed to be this right. oh, I remember the episode where he was trying to go grocery shopping and the hippo lady had the big butt oh yeah and she would turn around and he couldn't he'd be like excuse me excuse me <laughs> excuse me and she would like just turn and smush him with his butt and she was thinking he was a pervert trying to touch her she was like, how oh, dare you? Bro, that thing was she hilarious. Would smack him. <laughs> she was like, how dare you? <laughs> she would smack him across the grocery store. <laughs> and all he was trying to do was go around. <laughs> Her butt was just too big. <laughs> but that's the humor of the old one. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's, I see. They had to yeah, and adapt, that's, right? Change. And, and, change time. Yeah. and that's the thing about it is that it's the reason why it's not funny well, it's there's funny moments, mm-hmm. but like it, throughout when I when I watched it, mm-hmm. I don't know, but yeah, because I she was there, but I didn't laugh as like you know I didn't laugh like how in the old show does mm-hmm. because a lot of the jokes were not to say it wasn't clever, it's just that we kind of know what it is, right? And so, so it just felt like hmm, it's it it's like it's kind of like how the story was like it, it they made it. For us, but not really for us, you right. know. Yeah. And I don't know how to kind of process that because I I don't I don't know little kids right nowadays watching Rocco. Right. right. Exactly. Rocco. You know. Exactly. Like they wouldn't understand it. Yeah. Was Heifer still in it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And he was living with his family, the wolves. Yeah. Grandpa, okay, Grandpa's dead. <laughs> He's a ghost. Grandpa, Grandpa, he, Wolf. Grandpa Wolf is a ghost now. He still has to take care of Grandpa Wolf, even though he's a ghost. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he has to chew the food for him and put it in his mouth. <laughs> oh, man. Rapid now he's a ghost. He doesn't care. He's like, oh, leave me alone. Get a job. <laughs> <clears throat> 
Okay, so I, uh, on a score from one well, to ten. Well, we didn't hear more. Oh, yeah, Jacob. Jacob, you wanted to ask more to me? I mean, I do, but normally when it comes to these type of nostalgia trips, when uh-huh. it comes to, like, old cartoons and stuff like that, uh-huh. normally I'll be, oh, me first, me first. <laughs> <laughs> I'll jump to the gun and just say whatever I need to say about it. But this time around, like, this time around, I just felt reserved. <laughs> just reserved, because... Because I, I was getting myself prepared to watch the movie because I was just watching the old episodes from beginning to end. Mm-hmm. And that those episodes alone made me laugh so much more than this movie. For me, like, you already know, throughout this podcast, every, everybody, every viewer, <laughs> or whatever, um, I always laugh. This one, Stone not face. a peep. Not <laughs> a peep. A little bull peep, not a peep. <laughs> <laughs> like, nothing. So, like, I was, like, <clears throat> from the beginning... Okay, I would admit there was some moments that were funny, uh-huh. um, like the ghost, like the grandpa ghost and stuff like that. But right. From like the moment start, like it first started, zero 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 to the ending, not a peep, bro. nothing. And um, it kind of made me feel like it didn't capture. Like I mean, at, for some points it did capture the old feel of Rock Cole's modern life, mm-hmm. but it just seemed way too. Um, focus on the now and i get that's what it's trying to do but i'm already seeing that all down my twitter feed bro i'm i'm, I'm good <laughs> I'm, I'm living good. that right now that's, um, live it. that's like, the that's the thing about the jokes of that of the if you when you watch it you kind of right, right. see it because it's like you know we're already seeing them and it felt like i guess i guess what it is is that i guess rocco's too late on this right on this movie right because if he came out if this movie came out, you know, probably a couple years, like, like 2016, 15, mm-hmm. before, like, the whole craziness with the internet and people and mm-hmm. wanting to have, you know, different opinions and what whatnot, mm-hmm. that would have been a great movie, like, to explain all that stuff and people so obsessed with, with nostalgia. Right. But nowadays, people are already kind of new in it. People are kind of growing up from, like, I get it. People are nostalgic for shit, right? So it's like, it's time to move on. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's time to move on. And this movie, you know, does a good job telling that story. But, like, for like for me and I guess for Jacob, we're like, I, we already know. We already moved on. And I mean, it's like, I, I, you know, I, what more do you want? Are you want right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And... and I don't want to sound too offensive. <laughs> I, I'm just going to say one thing. Hot, hot take. Hot take, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, the whole Ralph turning into Rachel thing kind of made me feel like, yeah, I might need to switch this off. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I mean, uh, it's, I don't want to get too personal, but it didn't it rub me the wrong way. I mean, because it, cause it, you, I could see for most people that who for the last years so that you know gender politics was this thing right yeah. when you when that happens when you see it you're like oh here we go again right but the thing about it is that it played it plays so like level headed so mm-hmm. it's not like it was preaching you or anything it was like okay right. this is me now cool. I'm like okay cool yeah. that, that's what Rocco said and everybody Heifer, everybody they're like oh cool all yeah. right and they, they and they keep it moving. Right. And that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. <laughs> Say it. We all yeah. cool with it. Keep it moving. Man. There's no time for you to get on your soap yeah. soap box and right. tell and me how wrong tell. I am. Or <laughs> <laughs> and it, was, it wasn't like a killing Jenner thing. Like, oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> um, oh boy. Rachel had the same. Uh, uh, Ralph had the same voice, boy. <laughs> But anywho, uh, oh, uh, I would say this movie was, it didn't feel like a movie to me. It just felt like... Like a filler short? Like filler, but like... An OVA. Like a special. An OVA. Yeah. Like a special. Hey! Yeah, like, yeah, like a special, but a watered down special. It didn't add, like, it didn't add more substance to what the old show was. So that's what I feel about it. It didn't have the impact. It really didn't. It didn't leave with me. It just... State. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. yeah, that's sort of how I feel too. Yeah. All right. right. It's a nice watch. That's all it is. Yeah. That's what I, I would say that it, it, to me, if I give it a rating, mm-hmm. 
I will still watch it because it's a nice watch. And I mm-hmm. like the visuals. Mm-hmm. I think lot. for me, because it's like we're all here animators, mm-hmm. the visuals to me, I, I still like it. Like the way the buildings are drawn, the way landscapes are drawn there. No mm-hmm. disagreements there. Yeah. yeah no, I'll, no. I will go back to look at that. That's the story, true. on the other hand, it, it's not terrible, but you know, it it's just something it's that's we're already, we're, already, yeah. we're already been, you know, custom already for it. Uh-huh. It should have been uh, like a the Hey Arnold into the jungle. <laughs> yeah, yes. but that's because they were ending and they wanted yeah. to have a proper ending. This one is like kind of a continuation, kind of an ending, kind of something, I guess, but it, it really didn't anything. Mm-hmm. But so my rating for it, uh, like an eight. Eight, okay. Eight out of, eight 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 out of ten. Yeah. 6.5. Yeah. 6.5. Six. Okay, 6.5. Yeah, six yeah. yeah, I said six. Man, six. Six. Okay. I, I say eight. I say eight because I really like the visuals too. Because I mean, they kept that. The I like the okay. fact that's, they kept that, that yeah, element. Just, just like you. Mm-hmm. All right, cool, cool. I definitely have to watch it. Let's check it out. Mm-hmm. Did you want to add anything on it before they go on to the next one? Maybe? Oh, I was gonna say like I love the way it looked. I love that they didn't change it too much in terms of like how it used to be, like mm-hmm. the background and stuff like that, because it, it's really unique and really goofy looking. So it's pretty cool. So. There. Yeah. Well. Mm. All right, so from Rocco's Barn of Life, now we got Invader Zim, another Nickelodeon. You see, here's the funny thing. Because, like, Rocco's Barn of Life, it has the great, like, everything, like, was the same. Like, right. everything, like, was, like, sort of, like, you know, brought back in, like, copy paste. Right. Beautiful. Invader Zim, there were some changes that I that didn't fit right with him, but I was able to, like, let it slide because it was, you know, right. it was good. It was funny. I liked it more than Rocco's. Uh-huh. Like, like the edginess of the uh, the series with Invader Zim, like Gaz's face, like mm-hmm. how it was like all like more sharp to show like how edgy she is. Uh-huh. Having her face curved is like, it's it's like a dull knife. Like she's not as threatening as she looks. She looks more right. adorable than she does menacing. Right. And it's like you sort of you know took away that 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 look of anger that Gaz always had like, in the in the show, and like yeah, everything true. was like a little bit more rounded. Um, and like even, like even like the the backgrounds they they weren't they weren't as gritty as the show were because like the the shows even though like you know sometimes they were like um, colorful and stuff mm-hmm. like when it goes to like the dark areas like you you know the background is like showing off like how um crazy Zim is and trying to like impress the tallest and how even though it's like hilariously and fails mm-hmm. but like the background just shows like how menacing this guy in his head is and it's mm-hmm. like oh wow and it's just it brings out that whole you know personality of Zim out there and like how Dib sees all that danger in there right but like in the movie it's a shift like it's sort of like lighter hearted you know oh, like, is it <laughs> not as dark yeah it's not as dark okay. as I wished it would have been mm-hmm. But regardless, like it was literally like the a, a nice continuation from Invader Zim, despite like the love changes. Like it, it was great. It was, mwah. I, <laughs> I enjoyed it. Like it that felt more like a movie because, like um, like the it, the effects that's on there. Uh-huh. It, even though it wasn't like theoretical movie like, but it was movie like. Like the Netflix animators, like those who like do like other animations in Netflix, you could see their work. Yeah. In there, because like the like, the explosions, especially um, uh, Castlevania, Ooh. bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like it's all that like, you see it in there, bro. Like like when um Doctor, well, what I keep forgetting his name. Oh, the doc. Um, oh, uh, membrane. Doctor uh, Professor Membrane. Professor Membrane. Doctor Membrane. I forgot. Probably, uh, I the, forgot too. Their father, <laughs> um, Gas and uh, Dibs. Dibs' father. Like when he did that. <laughs> Why are you wearing my shirt? I don't remember hiring you. That thing was just like a Kamehameha, Hadouken. Yeah. And it's good because, like, even like like everything, like the dark humor from it, like, my like Miles was telling me about it um, during the meeting. He, like, you know, he said, like, um, I, um, um, <laughs> Oh, oh girl's favorite um places was this this taco place and how he ate a baby once. What the heck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> like I ate a baby there once. Like he did. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, and like how Doctor Memory was like, Yes, dude, I do have like um 
um, imaginations and all that stuff. I once thought that sharks were my friend. That you think I can go? You think that's a mechanical arm? Like now I learned. <laughs> like, damn. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. So like, it like it's still had its dark humors in there, and like the animation is great. The story is like it's you know a Zim plot. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. It's fun. The visuals great, <clears throat> and everything just it was just it was just an overall great movie. Awesome. Yeah, it was action packed. Very action was it? packed. Yeah, there was more. Ex- there was explosions. Was like there was Michael Bay film. Not Like no guys in the galaxy. The first one. Yeah. Like, <laughs> okay. A lot, a lot of, of talk, but like you know, a good amount of explosions here and there. Okay. Yeah, the jokes in this movie hit a lot more than Raku. <laughs> <laughs> a lot more sure. <laughs> because because. There's the, the a lot of the gags from the show they, they come back again. I am. Um, what do you say? Speak louder. <laughs> <laughs> I will stop you. Huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what? That comes back. What? Um, uh-huh. What's the other ones? The ham. The ham comes back. <laughs> but the ham has the narration. Oh. <laughs> Remember, you see this here, ham? Remember it. It's gonna be important. <laughs> they had like a little pause moment. They like kept the ham in color and everything like in like in a monotone or whatever. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's just like you see this ham, guys. It's important for the story. <laughs> and I don't know if I'm I don't, I'm gonna spoil it for that one, but <laughs> the way it plays out. Is there's so a well. there's a I forgot there's a there's a thing they always do in the show. They did it again. In this, I forgot what it was. It's like when they they always go like they make a noise or something when people say something they don't like. Mm. Like, something like that. I don't mm-hmm. forget. But like when they did that, I was like, wow, <laughs> that's still funny. Even though it's like annoying, because it's like one of those things that like they do that like is annoying. Mm-hmm. Like it annoys the other characters. It's still funny when they do it. It's like, wow, uh, okay. Yeah. This movie, bro, completely sold me, bro. Way better than Rock <laughs> <laughs> Like, just the opening alone, bro. Like, uh-huh. uh, it's like visual <sighs> candy. Visual eye candy, bro. Like, Spencer Wan, mm-hmm. he did the opener. Because he, he did the intro for Castlevania and some oh, okay. other stuff. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. like JoJo mixed with what? <laughs> bro. <laughs> like, like, Gundam and mixed with a lot of anime influence. Bro, like, right. It's crazy. This man went in, like. Ham and cheese, bro. Gravy. All in this type of... <laughs> the, the <laughs> Thanksgiving. Was, yeah, Thanksgiving. It, has, it had, like, black shading. Like, black comic book shading. Like, yeah. Like, uh-huh. I was like, wow. See, this is how Americans make anime. Like, yeah. that. Right. Because the... We're, um, I'm diverting a little bit, but, like, when you see, like, people making anime... You know, we're going to talk one more. <laughs> oh, um, boy. They forget to shade <laughs> the characters. Yeah. They forget to put, like, some dark shadows. Right. You know, it, so when you see this in the opening, it's so visually appealing because it yeah. just pops, yeah. especially yeah, with the colors. Great. Yeah, when you have yeah, that dark, heavy shadow. Yeah. yeah. I was like, wow, the colors are beautiful and vibrant. I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Give me more of that. <laughs> um, Like, like usually, like, the, the intro that we're all, like, loving right now, like, Usually, I hate when, you know, like, modern or, like, just, like, when cartoons, like, like throw a little bit of anime in there, but, like, they make it too anime, so it's like, oh, here goes another anime. Yes, we get your anime fan. All right, let's move on. Right. And, like, they did it, too. And, yeah, it, like, I did feel like that at the beginning, but, like, when, like, I lost it, when, like, when it started, like, like, you see Dib, he's, like, all oh, huge, muscly, like, Jojo. He's, like, I'm Dib. I'm a 12-year-old. 12 year old. <laughs> <laughs> you're, like, what? Why are you 12 years old? <laughs> that is huge. He's muscular. Right. Well, the reason why it works is because of that. The jokes. Right. You get the reference, like, mm-hmm. how anime, it's always a young character. Yeah. <laughs> well, and, and that's why and it works. Powerful. Usually, every that time when they do an uh, anime reference, mm-hmm. they don't make an anime reference dialogue. Yeah. So when they do like a JoJo looking character or a Dragon Ball Z looking person, they just do it just to do they it. just do it just to do it, and it doesn't have like a substance or a meaning to it. Right. So it's like, look, I'm Goku, but we're not, you know, there's no yeah. other reference to that. Yeah. It's just me doing Super Saiyan. It's like when um Nicole and Gumball did mention Kanaha. Yeah. yeah, but like from Naruto, it's oh, like yeah. you see, she just said Konoha. Like what the fuck? <laughs> it said Konoha and some other, some other, yeah, some other stuff. and it was funny because like funny. the reference. Like it they, completes it. Yeah. 
So. <laughs> Twelve right. years old. He's like, that, that was just like, all right, this movie's gonna be great. Yeah, it definitely <laughs> like, will be. Um, and I like, guess everything else was just like nice. How Zim was like all anime. Like you see a lot of like the fan art from like how Zim would make Zim anime. It's like that, but like a lot better. Right. You see like an amazing girl, just like menacing and everything. The tallest are like fucking ridiculous. Bro, <sighs> I feel like the, the the way they animated the show was like an anime. Like, yeah, bro, yeah. And in one scene in the movie, it, they did show, like, the art lines. Uh-huh. And so when you, you freeze them, you see, like, all the, you know, the foregrounds and all the characters and how they move. It's like, wow, this is like an anime page because <laughs> it is not really like how an American animates. Mm-hmm. So it's like, wow, like, this, this, is some, this is some high quality uh, animation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, I think I know what you're talking about, like, that scene where it looked like a storyboard yeah mm-hmm. yeah uh well in japan, in japan they animate well they, they animate storyboards but they call it like ganga mm-hmm. so it seems just like that like yeah yeah it's right. gang, gang. Gang. <laughs> it's, it's pretty much when they draw the storyboard they make a like a master storyboard right which is the, the main scene mm-hmm. and then they animate the action right and so all the scenes look good and the action all the scenes look good because they have the actions Copying from the master right. paper, right? So that's why when you watch, like when we watch like animes that we like that are really good, mm-hmm. that's because they do it. The ones that are cheap, they scrap that and they try to draw on top of it and gotcha. make some, you know, poor decisions like Naruto. You know, right? <laughs> no, no, I got you. I got you. Okay. Okay. So overall, I mean, it sounds like y'all enjoyed it. it yeah, but we're not even done with it. <laughs> There's a lot more. <laughs> we're we're just talking about the visuals. It's <laughs> so good. Clear. Oh, you know one thing that I really like the part when they were I think going back home and they showed all like different like art styles and stuff like that. Yes. Oh. That is one of my favorites. It's like wow, they really outdid themselves. I love when they do that. Man. Like, yeah. I don't care what what media it is. I love when they when they're like doing like um reality altering things. Yeah. They, like, Shift between like different um art styles. Awesome. Like you'll have puppets, you have them as pugs or dogs or whatever, <laughs> right? And just shift all between. You have them like as um very cute um cartoony style, chibi style and stuff like that. You think that's like very noodly or like chibi, chubby little mm-hmm. ones. It's, it's just great. You see them like flip through like different fan arts of, <laughs> of the show. It's, it's just how it is. Very good. Can I say the best part is when Gar did the the song. Yeah. <laughs> 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 One Piece. Is this better than? <laughs> is this better than what? Spicy chicken or something? Chicken Ch- finger. Chicken finger. Oh. Chicken finger. Chicken finger. Chicken finger. We want peace. Peace is better than chicken and rice. <laughs> right? It got, it got every kid just... <laughs> they had a, that song made a kid jump a volcano to hold someone else's hand. <laughs> wow! <laughs> and, and you'll see it, Jamal. It's it's pretty oh, ridiculous, but so, so like, funny. I don't want to like give all these funny parts away, but like there's <laughs> another part that I like because oh, there's three parts that I love so much. There's this okay. I can't. <laughs> it's, it's just so funny. Like one of them is like when like before when um. <laughs> when um like during the the presentation of mm-hmm. like the new um um peace day um bracelets yeah and then like he's like I'm more I'm so I'm more excited than anyone about this peace day and this guy said I'm excited he just run through the crowd <laughs> <laughs> like, you're not like, more excited about it. <laughs> 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 like, you're like, in the crowd like and you see people like fly <laughs> like you're not more excited <laughs> <than I>. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite one was when uh, spoil not 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 gonna spoil it but. When they show the the bracelet, he's like, and it comes in different colors. <laughs> <laughs> and they just go wild. And they go crazy. Like, ah! and, they... <laughs> and then when the robot's like giving their bracelet, he just picks them out from the bracelet. He just eats them. <laughs> 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 he's like, Yo, One of my favorite uh, funny scenes oh, was when um, Zem he made a copy mm-hmm. of Div's dad, <laughs> and it was just like this meat blob. He's like, oh. Um, Dim, uh, you should do your homework. <laughs> Here's some pudding. <laughs> and the pudding is disgusting. Yeah, but he still feeds them. Like, he tries to feed them anyway. Yeah. And Gaz is like trying to bear with He's like, Dim, whatever you're trying to do, just put it with it for now. <laughs> just be happy that dad. 
is here and he's not gonna let us go. <laughs> <laughs> bro, it's so funny, it bro. Great. It's, yeah. yeah, we just loved it, man. Like everything. Tons of great moments here, bro. Oh, I man. love Gas awesome. uh, when she's like staring at a kid at the conference. <laughs> 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 I, oh, I can assure you, Jamal, you'll love this movie yeah. so much, man. Like, I mean, you don't even have to be like a, like seeing like the entire series, just like enjoy this movie. You just mm-hmm. know, Zim just wants to impress someone. Mm-hmm. They don't give a shit about. <laughs> 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 like when they first like show that the tallest. <laughs> just, I'm not gonna say no more, man. Just 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 know that it's, not it's good. It's just it's hilarious. Good. It's man. good. Like, and fun fact: so. Gas is voiced by Ed from Cowboy Bebop. There you go. Okay. All right. <laughs> I just want to throw it out there. So. All right. I'm Melissa for it. Yeah, bro. Oh, man. And you saw it too, right? Yeah, you saw it. Yeah. Okay. So it's nice to hear a consensus <laughs> on everybody. Yeah, watch it. Enjoy. You want, you want a rating? Really want ten. 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 Yeah, no, I'm definitely gonna watch it. It's it's on my queue. Like it's on my queue of things to watch. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely gonna sit down and just go through both of Ooh, Rocco wow. and Invaders and just two shows I definitely enjoy. Yeah, save the best for last. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? You should watch Rocco first because it is shorter. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. So I'll watch Rocco first, then and I'll then get it. your popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> right. All aboard the hype train. I got you. I got you. Yeah, you'll be like you're you're gonna be like watching candy. Right. Yeah. You know, I, and I will not to go too far off topic, but I I have watched a few episodes of that new Ninja Turtle show that's on Nickelodeon. What do you think? I have mixed feelings about it. Okay. I have a lot of mixed feelings about it. I mean, as far as like the humor and the jokes and the story, like like that stuff's stupid, right? Like I don't care about all that. <laughs> it's it's too corny. I do like that they introduce a lot more of the mutated like creatures that are from the storylines in the comics. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I may not care for how they portray them because some were just way too goofy. I'm like, alright, it's kind of silly. And then like the fight scenes are just like just, crazy, like, right? Crazy, son. And it's like every episode. Yeah. I'm like, is there an episode where I won't like catch a seizure watching this guy? <laughs> <laughs> like I swear I'm gonna get epilepsy like watching this. Yeah, that's, that's like it's like it's like anime like on steroids. Like everything's yeah. like. Cause they overkill the um, the um, the effect. You know, in an old school anime, they have the effect where like the backgrounds like flying by real and they're fast flashing with the flashing lines, yeah. and they're just like ah, and they're like in the air still, getting ready to do the attack. Mm-hmm. So like they kill that in the, in the Ninja Turtle show. So I mean, it has its it has its moments. It has its moments. So like just watching that and then hearing y'all talk about Invader Zim and Rocco and stuff. So I'm just kind of put the two together. But now nah, I'm gonna watch it. I'm definitely gonna watch the other shows. I want to hear more about that though. What, the Ninja Turtle <laughs> one, right? You know, I think I think, and when it finishes, I think I'm gonna just sit down and just binge the whole season. Is it done yet? Do you know, um, it's still. Well, the thing is, it's it has two seasons. It's still right, it has ongoing. Uh huh. I mean, I gotta wait for two episodes to uh, come right. out. But let me assure you, I'm a big fan of that, and I've okay. seen the old Ninja Turtles, of course. Right. Why would I? Why wouldn't I? <laughs> right. But like this one is fire, bro. Like, is it? The, yeah. Some of the jokes land, some of them miss. Of course, it's typical. Like, right. It is started for kids, but man, th- maybe it's just episodes I saw. Yeah, that I was just kind of like, like to me, like I, I got put off a little bit when I saw Master Splinter. I mean, taking the the shell for a Joy Ryan. I'm like, Master Splinter. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what is this? I get what you mean. It's kind of like the personalities of the characters don't. Match. Yeah, they don't. Right. Match. Yeah, some of the stuff kind of throws me off a bit, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm. I'm I think I'm gonna just binge them and watch them. Like, I, anyone, I do like the fighting. Is there anyone in that show like sort of stupid? In a way, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> they are all kind of goofy. But when the story picks up, it picks up. Yeah. So right now, just a small spoiler. I know it's not related to everything that's going on, but uh-huh. in the visual sense, they're trying to resurrect Shredder, okay. Foot Ninja. So it's gonna get crazy. Yeah. Crazy big. So in this storyline, Shredder's done. He's, he's he's not been... he's not there yet, but okay. but Splinter already knows about him, of course. Okay. Right. So there's some few here and there. Oh, kiss! Oh, they're trying to resurrect Strada. They're pretty much finding the pieces to, to exactly. 
But it's one of those, the second anime. Like, she got woo. You gonna be her? She got Man, you better stop. <laughs> but, like, yeah, the anime. Oh, JoJo God. Part 7. Oh, boy. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Hey, hey, but like, hey. Everybody knows. <laughs> Jesus, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. I'm not going to reveal anymore. Everybody but, knows. Everybody knows. But the uh-huh. action, the choreography, bro, they go ham, bro. Like, I'm looking at the storyboards in Nickelodeon. They uh-huh. usually post it on Facebook or on YouTube. Yeah. And I'm just looking at the storyboards like, why can't I storyboard like that? <laughs> <laughs> and then they go on to the final result and like, yeah, I have like 70 years to go to re- reach that level. <laughs> but all in all, that show is a good watch. Yeah. Is and it? Okay. It's, it's I'm good. Gonna give it a watch. I'm going to try it out. I'm going to give it a chance. Because I've like shut down all the other ones that came out. And the 3D like, nope, one? Nope, nope. I like the yeah. 3D one. The 3D one was good. Was it? I, yeah, yeah, that was, was another good. one. It I has a very compelling down. story. There are like, they have, they have what they. I think it's just the designs of them yeah, that you can't get past. Yeah, but they their like, personality matches. But their personality matches okay. what what you were looking for. Right. So I just need that in this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But isn't like the, that that one that you guys are talking about the one with like when they um knucklefied um rap right? Where they just make them big for no reason. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's a lot more buff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he is. He's bigger than the others. That's dumb. Whatever. <laughs> I, I, I didn't like that one. Knuckles. <laughs> Knuckles. 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 How the knuckle, knuckle fight him? <laughs> Big for no reason. Like, who the fly? Like, Dang. he said yes. I don't know. know. Alright. Well, anyways. Mm-hmm. And, oh, and the third animated series that's on Netflix. Which has been a long time coming. <laughs> it's been following this guy and his artwork. Yes. For uh-huh. some years. Yes. How yes. It? It's like, was it 2010? Was it that long? long? Yeah, how long was it? Well, I gotta look it up. Just, just, it was what was his name again? LaShawn Thomas. LaShawn Thomas, yes. Because I was telling my brother about this too. I remember seeing Because I remember him. seeing everybody on Facebook like going crazy. Like, oh my God, I can't. And I was like, why does this look so familiar? Because it was on YouTube. And it, Yeah, and then I remember when we were in class together at AI, I remember you all were showing it and they were talking about how he was trying to get funds for it and mm-hmm. Like, he pretty much quit what he was doing here to go, like, live, like, yeah, was it Korea, Korea or Japan Korea, or something? Yeah. Korea, I think it was to go Korea. work for an animation studio. Because yeah, he was probably. like, hey, if I can't get nobody to do it, then I'm going to do it, goddamn it. I'm going <laughs> to animate something. I got to put this together. And then just to see it on Netflix, I was like, wow, man, that's great. That's like, a good journey, job. Yeah, good that's job. A journey to that's a journey. Good Cause, job. Because then he used to work for uh, Boondocks. And then he just went on. So. Yeah, he so. was one of the guys that worked um, on Boondocks. Because uh, Cannon Busters is a comic book series created by him ever right. since like 2012, yeah. March 2012. Yeah, he yeah, created see. them and um, then he then wanted to make an anime, an anime. So he did one like a test, which was the first episode, like the whole clip in the beginning. Yeah, the that first clip episode. Mm-hmm. And he put it on YouTube, right? That's where I first saw it. I don't know mm-hmm. where else that he put it, but uh-huh. I remember seeing it on YouTube and yeah. then him talking about like trying to do like a GoFundMe or Kickstarter right, or something right. like that. Kickstarter, yeah, that's what it was. In the early in the early days when that was a you know, crowdfunding wasn't a big deal. Right. So he was trying to do that and it I guess it didn't happen, but he went to uh Korea and then tried to work there and to like understand and then try to make it happen. Yeah. He, I forgot what else he worked on something else. Like during his um time, mm-hmm. to like you know, to like you know, better his skills. I right, what mm-hmm. it was. I think it was like an imported show from somewhere. Mm-hmm. He just he just worked in the animation house of. That. I just don't remember. Oh man, we'll check That's it out. It, it was worth oh, yeah. it. Yeah, it. Yeah, could please. But just to talk about the show yeah. in yeah. general, because I I did watch that. I got up to I want to say episode. Seven or nine? There's like what twelve episodes? Yes. I think I'm on like between seven or nine, maybe eight, somewhere on there. And um, I mean, so far as a whole, from what I've been watching, only three. Don't go too far, bro. No, I'm just saying as a whole. I, I'm just generalizing. Yeah, okay. yeah I'm not going to get into specifics. Though. But just like I mean, I, I can see 
<laughs> the heavy influences from the Toonami era. Very yep. heavy. Very heavy. Very heavy. Like, I see Damn. the Outlaw Star and the Cowboy Bebop and, and the, the Trigun tri everywhere. <laughs> like, Trigun must have been his favorite series. Without <laughs> a be. doubt. Without like, a like, doubt. Like, all the characters are pretty much based off Trigun characters almost. You just see, like, the posters of each show just <laughs> right. every time the screen moves. Right. That, you know, that should be, like, a little Easter egg in his, like, series. You see, like, a wanted poster of, like, one of those characters. Oh, that'd be so cool. That from one of those anime series, that'd be dope. But I can see the heavy Toonami era influence on it. And like this is like the OC of the OC. Like, <laughs> Definitely. When you when you sit in class and create characters and keep <laughs> them in a binder. Yeah. <laughs> all of us. Yeah. All of us. Right? You can tell by watching this, like these are all of his characters yep. that he put his like heart and soul into and each one has a specific story yep. and a specific design. I mean, because let's face it, in anime, everybody's, like, super general. Everybody, like, majority of series, they always resemble somebody else, or the, the yeah. basic structure is because, off of something else. Because because like, a, it's, a lot of, it's just the era of the drawing, so yeah. they all emulate each other. And plus, in when they write comic books, uh -huh. they write manga in, in Japan, they, they work with editors, so it's heavily... So when people do that, like, oh, this is my creative character, right? Right. And that uh, this is how he does, and this this it does this, and he does that, and mm -hmm. then the other will be like, all right, hold on, let's take this, yeah, <laughs> and calm down with that, <laughs> yeah, see, and, and then focus on this, and exactly. that's how, and that's how you get these characters that are a little compelling, uh -huh. a little more, uh, you know, less, you know, creative characters you you do in in your mm -hmm. own fantasy, you know, all right. Writings, you know. I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, it makes sense. And then they go to these huge animation farms and everybody's drawing them and animating them so you can't have all these ridiculous, super detailed people and everybody looks different. Yeah, and everybody Sometimes has, a couple bad guys, eh, they may look alike, yeah. whatever. Yeah, but they, yeah, it's necessary so you don't overwork everybody if right. this becomes successful and they're like, oh my god, we got this lore for this character, this, this lore, lore for, for that character, character and, and if, right. this character sense. is in the back, he has lore too. Like, like, right. right, exactly. But that's what I'm saying. Like in this show, you can tell like he took his time with each one of these mm -hmm. characters, even with the villains and the little groups that pop up here and there. And as you progress, you'll see it. You'll see more and more people popping in and everybody's unique. Like there's no two characters that like look alike. Everybody has their own set and design. Mm -hmm. So that part I like. I appreciate yeah. that. Definitely. I yeah, definitely I appreciate agree. that. And because and, you said you saw just the first three lamps. Yep. So you already met the little, like, spider, scorpion-looking game that he runs yeah. into. Mm -hmm. And now the big guy has the beard that looks like a giant scorpion. And each, I think each one of them has, like, a scorpion arachnid or... feature. Yeah. Like the guy yeah, with the legs. And then the one with the, he has the big cannon that looks like a claw that he shoots to be. Yeah. So, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. So, I mean, I, I like it for what it's worth. Yep. <laughs> so again, I, I'm really not going. heavy judgment on it, only because we all know the background story with it and the guy who created it. Mm -hmm. So uh, kudos to him. I'm glad he made it. He well, got his show on Netflix, <laughs> right? <Yeah>. But now, <laughs> now it's there. Now all right, let's, all right. let's get this man. With let's, the, get him. let's get him. Let's get him. <laughs> now, now that you're in the industry, and now that you are putting out work. Boy, <laughs> right, now we got to serve you. Yeah, first we of all, read you your rights. Right, let's fix that pacing, my boy. Yeah. We can't, we can have, we can't have episode two and three devoted for backstory. All right. Yeah, yeah. you got, you got to, you got to work on your pacing. That's number one. Mm -hmm. So don't, don't give us, like he said, two and three episodes of just backstory, backstory, backstory. Like you got to be able to break it up and like give us a little bit here and then continue with the main storyline. Because eventually, you, then you're going to lose our interest. It's like, all right, now I'm just going backwards. If that's the case, you should have just started with this, and it led up into where they're going. Yeah, because yeah. when I watch episode two and three, uh -huh. and I was, like, watching them that, so the initial, initially, right, they showed backstory, mm -hmm. right? I was like, okay, cool, all right. And then they continue, mm -hmm. and I'm like, wait a minute, and I pause it, like, is this the future, or this is present? Right. And he was like, I oh, don't know. And I have to rewind, like, yeah, that that's part's, future. Okay. Yeah, that, that part's that's, a little confusing with the, the whole Prince thing, right? Yeah. 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 And the robot, the AI, whatever she is, Android, whatever. The friend bot. The friend bot. Friend yeah, bot. and that, that back and forth thing. It is a little confusing because he'll, like, just cut it right in the middle yeah. of one of the shots. Like, they'll be hanging out, talking, going on an adventure, and then you see her with the Prince. You're like, what? 
what the hell? This <laughs> like there's no break, there's no warning. It just jump. It's not her like falling asleep, going into some dream about it. It's just it just cuts to it. So that's yeah. They, they definitely got to fix their pacing. It's a little choppy. It's a little choppy. <laughs> <clears throat> what else? Um, it, there was another person like um, mm-hmm. voice acting. Just listen to the Japanese voice. Yeah, that's, <laughs> Japanese. That's, I mean, all, that's how you fix I'll, that. The thing is, I can't because I gotta, I, I gotta, I gotta respect because this, like viewing this, is not just an anime. It's not just it's a western. Like you need, yeah. sort of you know that's voices. True. Yeah, like you, you can't, you can't have um some regular lady voicing a strong black woman. Um, in her southern mm-hmm. accent, like it's needed to like give that whole area effect, mm-hmm. and you need like they, even like the the boys, the two boys, mm-hmm. uh, or her sons, mm-hmm. and how they're like all dumb and stuff. They can't like they need that personality, that heavy personality. They can't right. they need that heavy deep voice yeah. and all that stuff. So like watching it Japanese sub, even though it should be prefer like prefer- preferable, it's sort of not needed for like this anime and also because like what i do like respect for like dub actors is that even though like it doesn't match like the subtitles itself Mm -hmm. they always add a little bit extra spice in it that you can appreciate Mm -hmm. like having um you know just having them like add a little stuff that they won't yeah they add the they add the more personality that you won't get when you listen to to japanese and when you're reading the subs so it's like it's a little bit more yeah because because regardless of like we all you know however you prefer watching anime you will under you will feel more you know understanding on a on a character when the character speaks your language right right because when they pronounce and inflect you know mm-hmm. pron you know nouns and stuff like that right it's like oh, okay you know it gives that character more character yeah, it gives them more flair yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, no, yeah. that's true <laughs> So, but when it comes to the voice acting, and I, you know, I watch a lot of dub anime, mm-hmm. from the most terrible to the best. Mm-hmm. What I could say about this one is really is have to be whoever w- was engineering it, mm-hmm. because the problem with this one felt like the voices weren't uh, matching with the fl- with the flaps, mm-hmm. and the audio wasn't mixed well with the mm. with the flaps. Okay. It's like, it's a combination of two. So it's like, right. so a lot of times, a lot of the actors, I don't know about the majority of them, but I guess most of them don't know how to dub anime. Mm-hmm. So when they're doing it, they're doing the accent or whatever, and they're doing, the, they're doing, they're following the, the, the flaps. They're following the flaps, they're following the flaps, and then at one point they'll drop. They'll drop the flap, and mm-hmm. then it will be, you know, out of sync. It's right. like, oh, <laughs> and, it, and then to me, it becomes like a game like, okay, here it goes. He dropped it. Oh. <laughs> it. Yeah. Two point for Gryffindor. <laughs> yeah, so it, it became kind of a game like that, which is funny because a majority of the people in that cast, mm-hmm. they've done some anime. Right, they've done some voice acting. Especially the anime. robot term book, but that is Orihime and Hinata from, from the English... Duh. Okay. Yeah. yeah so, right. so she sounds really good. Right. Right. Yeah. Compared to the other two, where mm-hmm. the uh, what's her name, Sam? Sam. Billy? She. She. Uh, the Billy voice. Did. Yeah. She. The the voice actors did two anime. She did Blood Plus. Okay. Right. So she did some, and the other one did a lot of American cartoons. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you kind of tell like, oh, uh, he's. You could tell like, uh he. You know, he hasn't done this before, and she done this before, but it's like, whoever mixed it, whoever putting the, the audio together, didn't, uh-huh. didn't uh, um, fully commit to putting it in. Yeah. It was more like, I slap it in, there you go. Yeah, drag and drop. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, that's pretty much what it does. <laughs> I mean, from the, just from the three episodes, I think they won't exercise me the criticism I have, mm-hmm. pacing and just... Yeah. It's that voice acting. Mm-hmm. Um, I uh, yeah, that's it. Like everything else is just, just yeah. wonderful, just colorful, fun. I guess. Um, no, I, I want to say that. No, never mind. <laughs> it's yeah, it's just good. I just like right now. I'm just like really curious. I'm like how they want to like move the story forward, right? 
just because you know we want to know how Philly's um, curse works. Right. Um, I want to know what. Hey, I don't care about the king, the prince. He could go suck eggs. He's yeah. just an asshole. Yeah. He's he's a dumb. <laughs> yeah, really. He distracts from the show. It kind yeah, kind again back to the pacing, right? Like it doesn't. Right now, it doesn't help, and even where I'm at, I have yet to see the benefit of them. Yeah, like, I think the next episode course. I'm going to come into it shows more about him, so maybe that'll tie everything in together. Maybe, but that's like. But so too far, late. like the yeah, I mean, I'm getting ready to go on episode nine, and it's only twelve episodes. But a lot of the side characters seem more interesting to me than the main ones, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. And you'll see it too, like as you keep progressing, and he, they run into other bandits and outlaws and stuff. You're like, damn, this person looks cool, and you see their powers and them fighting. I'm like, damn, that's a nice animation. Same. Like, who's this person? I want to know about them now. <laughs> that's what happens. Them. That's what happens. You 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 make the characters around your main characters more compelling, right? And that's that's where you ran into trouble, right? Because then. People are not gonna care for the main characters mm, right, they get anymore. More invested in seeing the see, other cooler ones. <laughs> see, that's why. That, see, that's why I tell you they, they have editors. When you watch anime, it's heavily edited, so all the main characters are compelling. Right. And the back characters, even though you want to make them look cool, they shouldn't, you know, overshadow, shine yeah, overshadow right. the characters you're following. Gotcha. And once you do, because once you do that. It's kind of hard for people to continue watching the show when everybody was like, oh, man, this guy looks cool. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> oh, I don't want to watch it no more. <laughs> right. They took out the greatest character in the show. <laughs> and there you go. Nah, the that's that. where the phrase comes from. <laughs> that's how they say that. Yeah. No, that's, what, that's what happened. They invested in the side characters. Mm-hmm. Yep. Have you seen it? No, but I saw... Actually, I was watching the trailer uh, not that long ago, and... It's funny because I expected something like super dramatic because it's anime, but then I heard like the music in the background. And I was like, "Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. no, right? That, that's, that's what like the intro, me too. The, the intro song fire. is kind of yeah. That's the intro, the intro, is the intro like, song is kind of dope. Don't eat, don't eat. Very dark. inspirational. Very, <laughs> very soul. The only, the only Chris. Who sing this? Rihanna. <laughs> Rihanna. <laughs> talked about this constantly but the, the the music don't not fit the visuals gotcha yeah and it's like ah it's like it's so relaxed it's so you know right it's a very very relaxed. chill it's a very uplifting and like beat. the visuals are like people going crazy doing crazy right. shit and like, <laughs> robots fighting and, robot fighting and, and breaking through walls and shit I'm like huh <laughs> how's this work how's this it's almost like an amg yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what it looks like. Yeah, the AMB. yeah. And, hey, like the AMB. Yep, there it is. But that's what don't, don't doubt the song, bro. I think it's catchy. I never no, skip that intro. <laughs> yeah, I don't either. Yeah, I don't. Like, huh? <laughs> what? What's wrong with you? It's a box. And they're smart too because they make nah. they smart because they don't start the episode with the intro. They start with like a little thing of them, yeah. and then it jumps into the intro. Because sometimes what Netflix does is by default, if the intro is the beginning half of the show, it'll automatically skip however many seconds and just go right into the episode. So like when you're watching it and it just leads into the intro, and I'm like, well, I'm here now. (laughs) Let's go. (laughs) Right. The ending. The ending's good. That one. That one matched. Yeah, the ending. That that one matched the visual. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. it's more chilled and it's yeah, it's very somber, yeah, and it has sure. all the visuals which are still, mm-hmm. but it's still good. Tells a little story. My favorite character, uh huh, is the car. <laughs> oh, oh, you know, and when I saw it, the first person I thought about was y'all two. I thought about you and Kevin, and I was like, I know they're gonna love this guy. Cause let me tell you, transforming robot ass <laughs> car. Look, that, look, listen. My avatar is a robot. <laughs> Listen, like I've we've seen like a lot of you know mech uh-huh. mechs are long like throughout our, our time, mm-hmm. and even like animal mechs too, like you know from Power Rangers and all that stuff. Right, right, right. But like this design specifically for some godlike reason, it's just so <laughs> beautiful. It's like no, it is. It's nice. like the, like the is whole nice. car is huge. It's yeah, like it's a big it's ass. huge car, and it has like the the horns, the mm-hmm. long horn, and then when he transformed, and the bull. 
Oh my God, Jesse! When she comes out, she's like Jessie. ears flopping. You're like, yo! <laughs> <laughs> she got like the engine in the back. She got the, yeah. the hooves. She got uh-huh. like the, all the the details of the. the, the oh my God! <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's, it's just a bull, but it's, it's so perfect. Right, it's cool. It is cool how when it transforms, and I like how he has to get the quarter to yeah. put it in. And you got that, so like, can... that pixelated, and you're like, oh, yep. like go on, Bessie. And then look, they they abuse that. Like they make her turn from any time she needs to. Yeah. Even when it's not necessary, <laughs> she's not sure. Where's the coins at? Where's the coins at? Where's yeah, the quarters man. at? Yeah, he got he got to milk that effect, boy. Yeah, yeah. bro, I, I would like, love to see more of that, man. Yeah, he definitely milks. Every time that transformation comes, like, woo, here we go. Yeah, even in the intro, like, oh, like when she's like stood up the steam, it's like, oh, yeah, you see the little, little ring that the has yeah. in the nose comes out and connects. <laughs> I love my mechs. <laughs> yeah, that uh, part was cool. That part was that no, part was pretty cool. cool. Uh, all and even not cool. even that the golem. Oh. I'm sorry, that's yeah, no. that's boy. But like this, the golem from the from, from the, back. the one of the the backstories. The first backstory. The, yeah, yeah. is you see a, a golem and it's like holy damn that <laughs> thing is gigantic. Yeah, she crazy. And the way how it looked like it's like you see it, it's like looking up like. Y'all ain't gonna work my time looking down. Like, he looked down. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, ah. Oh. Bessie about to fight me. I'm gonna put up sets again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I just hope that was the show, like, he... I just hope the show, like, gets, gets good over time. I mean, it's good, but, like, I just hope, like, you know, the way he um, steers it, it gets right. better. It gets better. And people get, you know, start flocking towards it and gets, you know, more season. They don't get kicked off like all the other Netflix series. Right. And then they, right. you know, true, true, true. continue with it until it's actually done. Yeah, I hope so too. That's, that's nice. I hope so too. I hope, I hope he gets another season set up so he can keep it going. All right, Jacob. We're dying <laughs> to put in your yeah. two cents. <laughs> okay, so I kind of made a mistake with the comic book when it first came out. Mm-hmm. It came out March 2005. Right. Oh, oh, five. And, so. and there's only two issues that was printed at the time. From okay. Food on Comics, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, so, LaShawn Thomas, I've been following this dude for a long minute. Yeah. This man is fire. Whenever he he gives you some motivational tips on Twitter, mm-hmm. he said, he, like, there's this one thing that he, like, this one tweet that he says, like, if you're scared about working on a project, man, do it scared. <laughs> do it scared. Right. Hashtag yeah. do it scared, bro. Yeah. So yeah. He, he always just gives you like fire content, and um, and I remember he had like a YouTube series when he was in Korea where he was talking about the process of the Cannon Busters. Yeah. And that's when you knew it was like, oh man, yeah, they working on this for real, man. Right. Whew. I mean, it took a long time. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I understand. But like. uh he, he had, like, the series Children of Either, 21 episodes. Mm-hmm. It was cool. I mean, short. <laughs> <laughs> and he's working on an upcoming animation uh, animated series called Yasuke. He's Yasuke. like the Black Samurai. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's the um, one they're doing a movie on, too. Oh, really? Yeah, Chadwick Boseman is going to play um, Yasuke. Ooh, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. <laughs> the actual, yeah, yes. Not the anime. <laughs> yeah, not the anime. It's different. Uh-huh. It's different. Okay, but I I actually finished the series, mm-hmm. um, Cannon Busters. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, so, uh, okay. Here's my two cents. <laughs> okay, I like the intro, Ending Spire. Both of them work together, but of course, visual-wise, they don't. They don't match, right? In terms of a, in terms of for the intro, mm-hmm. going into episode one and towards the rest, mm-hmm. but mainly on episode one, it was instantly in Japanese uh, dub for me, so I was like, okay, cool. But then I tried the English dub for a minute. It's, it's rough. the change back. It's, <laughs> it's, it's rough. It's rough. It's it rough. is. It is rough. Control Z. Undo. It's just rough. It's rough because like if you, if you're not like like me, like a hardcore nerd mm-hmm. about this shit, like that doesn't bother me. Like watching it, you know. Right, right, right. And dub, but like if, if I like if I know like if Jacob's gonna watch it or Leo's gonna watch it, right? I I could understand like oh when we're going to you know put in Japanese. Right. Because it's it's 
it's something that you have to like put up with. Yeah, that's true. That is true. And uh, continuing on, like uh-huh. I do agree with you guys of um, how the main characters don't get displayed, like displayed more. Mm-hmm. I mean, the side characters get more shine, like than yeah, ever. Yeah, they do. They like, do. And like going into it, like I know you got some more to go, and you got like three more episodes, or yeah, three more episodes to go. Mm-hmm. They will explain certain things, and I'm and the way they left the cliffhanger, of course, it's gonna be a season two. Okay. And um, oh, that's they, only takes it. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, 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 please don't. No. Bro, you almost got me agreeing with you, sir. That joke caught me off guard. <laughs> right, I'm about to get it. That whole news caught me off guard. Continue, Jacob. <laughs> Sony announced Gunbusters season 2. Cannon Busters season 2. No, they changed it. They changed it. It's now Cannon Gunbusters now. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, uh, they will say something about the Golem, in mm-hmm. a way, because it's like the world is kind of, like, ripped off away from magic. Yeah. And later down the line, you'll see some nuances of magic later. Uh, you know, they mentioned some things about it, you'll see. Um, okay, so the design for Bessie, right? Okay, so have you ever guys knew, like, you knew, okay. Okay. Have you ever uh, seen this guy probably around in social media, Facebook, Instagram, whatever? It's this famous or uh, talented illustrator. Who takes his son's drawings and changes it into yeah. anime characters? Yeah, yeah. Okay, his name is Thomas Romain, and okay. uh, he actually worked on the Bessie and mechanical designs for the oh, okay. character. It all started in 2014, so um, he was the mechanical animator. Exactly, and no, no, well, no, character designer character and mechanical designer. animator. Yeah, there's a there's no. like a difference. You have to be a specialist on machinery. And animation. Right, and how things work. Because <laughs> that's mathematical. That's true. That's Cause it's all, it's just precision, right? You can't, yeah. it's not organic, it doesn't flow. So with like, yeah, with like anything that's mechanics, mm-hmm. yeah, it takes a certain team of people that study it, that know how to do it to make it look and feel right. Or else it's just going to be wonky and it's not going to look good. Exactly. But like, um, going into the story route, mm-hmm. the story is good. Pacing could work a little bit better. Um, things just jump left and right. Characters, of course, like some of the side characters, you want to know more about them, but of course they can't fit it in just one episode. Right, yeah. So I guess later down the line in season two, or if they're made in season three, we're right. going to learn we'll more about it. it. Okay. And um, in terms of the, the lessons I could learn from this show, mm-hmm. is that I'm kind of, I'm really happy that he has his own series yeah in a major platform like yeah, Netflix. Netflix yeah right like this this inspired me mostly because like, I mean I have OCs like, every one of us has OCs but mm-hmm. I have like OCs that I've made that that will see the you know they'll see the light of day probably when I'm 75 <laughs> <laughs> and you know when I'm old, old, old Jacob here's <laughs> my OC character <laughs> right here's this John Carlos <laughs> Yo, Carlos. Just, just, just wait for Dark Cross oh. coming in uh, 20... Uh, I gave him 70. one of my OCs for the Dark Cross. Oh, boy. I gave him... I I, I donated one of my OCs to yeah, Lord, like he needs more. Oh, boy. Those are I, my OCs... So first of all, so hold on, hold on, my OC is really good. Yeah, they are. My OC is really good. Then when Jacob get the money, Jacob's gonna be like, "All right, hold on, hold on." <laughs> my OC. I know I'm, I'm the Sony in this situation. <laughs> Time to renegotiate. Right. All right, Jacob, renegotiate. 50-50. <laughs> nah, boy. No, no, no. Jacob been drawn and animated. Now you want to profit? <laughs> I draw the character first. <laughs> this is that's no, 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 no. no. <laughs> it belongs to me. <laughs> I just throw PlayStations at you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah like this is this show is an inspiration to uh, like everyone who's kind of like starting out or wants to do something like this one day and I can't yeah, wait to s- well, yeah. I can't yeah, wait to see yeah. what more he has down the line and, yeah I, I definitely want to see more I think, I think with this one he probably because this one has been in work for such a long time so right. a lot of these mistakes are just mistakes that right they just been he, the time. it's been there right. already and so he has you know, and he couldn't really fix them because he it would have set him back even more. Yeah, <laughs> and he, needed, he needed to finish it, and he needed to find people to 
get it and release it. Right. Mm -hmm. So hopefully with this and now that people are watching it and he looks at the feedback, when they do make us a second season, mm -hmm. he you know really hammers on the mistakes and just you know bring it full circle and just finally just you know give us motivations for a lot of the characters that we don't see as much and we don't like as much. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. because here's another thing: when um, news of this broke out, that was going to happen on Netflix, right? We were all waiting like crazy, and then like. It, was, it said it was set to premiere in spring of this year. And I'm going crazy. I'm like, I'm looking everywhere like, okay, when is it coming out? I'm refreshing Netflix <laughs> like crazy, right? And I'm, I'm going to his like his own personal website where he talks about updates and stuff like that. And last update was in 2018. I'm like, bro, you better stop playing games. Because <laughs> I'm not no PlayStation. <laughs> yeah, but it, this is okay. <laughs> <laughs> is it that Netflix sent me an email like, hey, look, this new show, Cannon Bus, is coming out. Go look at the trailer and save it in your queue. And I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I just saved it in my queue, and then whenever it came out, yeah, it was that popped up. Mm -hmm. which popped up. And that's, it. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, um, came as a, a shock to me, but I'm, I'm kind of happy. Like, I'm really happy it came out. Well, it's funny because when... I saw like a picture that says Cadmus is going to be on Netflix. Mm -hmm. I was like, what? Really? Because you, like, you don't expect that, right? Right. And I just ignore it until like, I get that email. Like, hey, hey, you can save it in your queue. Oh, it's like, real. Okay. Oh, it's real. Legit, legit. Oh, it is legit. Okay. I made it. I made it. But yeah, it was, it was a treat to watch. I, I, I did enjoy it. And I do, and another small complaint too I have about it is yeah. Kevin said this earlier about the shading and coloring. I think if he would use a lot more darker and heavier shading on the characters, it would make it pop. Because there's a lot of scenes that I watch and visually they get a little muddy because they don't have that contrast. That contrast. And being that since a lot of the characters are, you know, black or brown or whatever. Sometimes they get lost because everything's in the desert and it has that western vibe. So there's already a lot of brown and black, and, you know what I mean? So those tones, yeah. they kind of get muddy. They yeah. kind of fall into each other. So without that heavy, dark shading, sometimes I'm watching it, I'm like, yeah, you should have put some heavy lines here, just this. It would have really made this guy stand out more. It's like his skin tone matches the dirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's not good. Because <laughs> I, I could see why he did it that way. Because... Uh -huh. Like he influenced from the nineties, right? The animes from Toonami, a lot of them were painted in cell animation, right? And so yeah. a lot of them don't have heavy shadows because right. in cell animation they have this like great like natural light into yeah. them, and so they don't need those heavy shadows right, or anything. Yeah, but once you get to digital, and this is what happened like in around you know two thousand four right. when they were switching from cell to digital uh -huh. like a lot of the characters were just pale like you yes. watch you watch 2004 yeah. anime yeah they were very bright very yeah. pale there was no contrast of any and there was no heavy sh there was no shadows they right. have shadows but they were like toned down a little bit right so so when i watched that i was like oof that's like 2000 or right. anime right here, bro. like tsunami era. Like, tsunami, <laughs> like, like nostalgia. Ooh, yeah. ooh, like, ooh, like once you, cause I, I, like again, it's been more in the works, but now when he does the next one, hopefully they add the shadows, they add more right. contrast, cause that, cause when you do digital, like, I think those like in <laughs> Zim, it works a lot because it's just those shadows, because already the characters are colored very colorful. Right, because right, digital right, in yeah. digital, when you use color, it's gonna be colorful. Right, you know, unless you want to saturated. Yeah, unless you yeah. want to go to the process, just like in Rocco, to make a mute mm -hmm. like the original. Mm -hmm. But that's because that's the style. Right. Yeah. And you can't really imitate that with the, the anime. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I hope you know more shadows, more contrast. I think for the villain. The villain character, mm -hmm. it needed those shadows. Yeah. It needed it because, like, it it doesn't it doesn't look uh, like you know angry or intimidating. 
It looked like uh, a, it looked like the, like a Digimon character. Yeah, yeah, he does look like a Digimon character. <laughs> he looks like a Digimon yep. character. Yeah. Did he have more yeah. shadows to make him angrier? Right, more menacing, menacing. more dark. Yeah. Then I could uh, you know be like okay, but right now I see Guruma. <laughs> <laughs> floating around. <laughs> yeah. Come over here. <laughs> Again, back and then like, with the side characters, there is one character that they introduce that not too far along from where you guys are. I think he's in the intro, a little short old guy. Yeah, yeah. that's I'm, it. I'm that's in the, that in the fort. Is in nine. the fort. Yeah, nine. like I don't, yeah, see, I like him. Yes, I like him. And then he looks that's, cool. Again, like I want to know more about him now. Like now, I'm starting <laughs> to lose more interest out of the main people because now I'm like he's here and he's old and he has this crazy skill set and you're like, all right, who is he? What he used to do? Why is he so skilled? What brought him here? And then that's that's what happened. So yeah, he yeah. definitely gonna have to work on that. Making so many cool side characters, and now you lose focus on the main. Hopefully, main hopefully he has like a heavy like person, like like an editor or like somebody heavily to like make him like. All right, let's let's breaks. relax. Yeah. Let's relax. With the OCs here. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Chill on the OCs. Yeah, yeah. Get get the get the bad guys. But leave those side characters alone. They they're just there to be side in the sidelines. Right. Like yeah. giving these side characters OP powers. Like. <laughs> yeah, like super ridiculous. He's like, dang, well, now I don't want to know about it. <laughs> <laughs> this dude just dies and comes back. You know what I mean, yeah. what more? What more can you do? Like that's it. All right, he has a curse. He can't die. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on. I like JoJo. Like, no, they look like side characters. They become characters, you know. So maybe he could do that. Yeah, that will work. that will help him. Yeah, turn those side characters into characters. But then that would be like a long ass series if he made so many like, side characters. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. We'll see how long he wants to take it, where he wants to to go. If this is just a project he wants to get out, to, you know, at least get his name out there. He may have something else lined up that he really loves more than this. But we don't know. We'll see. Can, can I say the the was Sam and what what's that kingdom called that, that she's from? Uh, it starts with uh, B or some I, I can't pronounce it. Yeah, me. Mm-hmm. I was I was joking. I was like, yo, this, this is a Wakanda. This is anime Wakanda, right? Here. <laughs> That's right. All these black people, <laughs> all these technological advances, <laughs> color <Collard> green. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Uh, one more character I will say I'm really interested in um, is mm-hmm. the prince's bodyguard. I like him a lot. Yeah, he's cool too. You know what's funny about he's him? Cool he reminds me <laughs> when, when you see him in the in the when he's when the king tells him to leave mm-hmm. and he goes out and in uh, a little uh, weird distortion of the the foreshortening, mm-hmm. he looks too big. Mm-hmm. I was like, yo, he looks like a Yu-Gi-Oh monster. <laughs> <laughs> Just list of torment. <laughs> just, right. just put uh, attack right. points three thousand. Right, just have them floating through. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> right, it just does the damage. To the thing. Yeah. <laughs> no, man, that man is huge. But no, he was he's a good character. See, too many, See, too many, too many OCs, man. The OCs mm-hmm. are gonna be a downfall. <laughs> it's okay to put some generic ass people, so we don't invest into them too much. It's all right. Yeah. You can do it. <laughs> Like that opening down. scene when they're playing poker, one guy kills himself. Yeah, like, I want to know his story. Right? <laughs> I don't know why. Why did he bet his life? <laughs> yeah, see, <laughs> too intricate. Sometimes you got to tone it down with the side characters, man. Yeah. You're taking over. <laughs> yeah, you can't make a high stakes game out of nowhere and be like, "Hold on, we can't cut to that. What's going on?" Right, and then that's it. Now we don't hear from him no more. Yeah, come on. Come on. Uh, yeah. Watch it. That's 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 Cannon Busters in a nutshell. Yeah. So when y'all finish it, we can do like a recap of it and see how y'all like it. Oh yeah. Yeah, I would love to. Yeah. Definitely, definitely be on it. And uh, are you gonna try watching um, what's it called Sensei, the three D Sensei? Yeah, I am. I'm I'm three episodes into it, so I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna finish it. That and then what's the other one? The fighting, the fighting one. Not Baki, yeah. No, oh, I, I'm it's actually, it's like its predecessor. Uh, what's Akash and Ashura? Akash and Ashura. Akash and Ashura. Akash and Ashura is good. Netflix. He's really good. Is it? Yeah. Um, I heard someone telling me like the fight scenes are like crazy. No, right. they're extremely crazy. Yeah. Like, 
just like Bucky, it, attention to detail, attention to detail to the fighting, right, and aspects of like how the martial arts work, right, it's really good. I do say the manga is really good. <laughs> is it? Yeah, it's okay. really good. This is great, but like you know, you know how three D is. And this yeah. one is kind of like that three D type of thing. Right, you just gotta kind of get through that. Yeah, you kind of have to like enjoy for what it is. Just strap yourself on the chair and just, <laughs> just power through it. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of enjoying it so far. Yeah, it's it. Yeah. The the thing about it is like it's so enjoyable that the three D doesn't really bother you. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's a good show. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, all right. So we got that work cut out for us. Anything else? Uh, yeah. It's something unrelated. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everything else is not related. I might know, as but... well. We're about to wrap it up anyway. <laughs> um, but I gotta show respects to the goat that passed away, uh, Richard Williams. Oh, that's good. Yeah, survival kit. I still hold it to my heart, bro. I got it at home, bro. Yep. I got the PDF file. Yeah. Same here. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all have the PDF. Right. We were in school. They sent it to us. But yeah, this man is a goat. Who framed Roger Rabbit? The thief and the cobbler. Yep. May his soul rest in peace, man. Your your legacy will live on forever. Perfected the uh, squatch and stretch yep. technique, yeah. animating, exaggerating features. Yep. You learn There's something new every day. Read yep. that book. Yep, definitely. Any inspiring animators out there? That is the uh, the golden compass. I mean, you get that book. <laughs> <laughs> you go to school. Yeah. <laughs> I guess the last one, because you're doing this. Okay. <laughs> Just for miles, Peter Fonda. Oh, yeah. Piece. Oh, Peter Fonda. That's the piece, Peter Fonda. <laughs> gotcha. Anything else? Any more rest in pieces? No, that we was dead. Dude. Rest in peace, hey. Spider-Man. Too soon, man. Too soon. Too soon, man. You're going to be hot again. Too soon. Lord. I just cooled off. <laughs> On that note, we'll end it. Yeah. Episode 25. Woohoo! Is it? No. Yeah, yeah. Da, 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 I was gonna do a cliffhanger. Da, 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 da. <laughs> There's a cliffhanger, so he's gonna take it. <laughs> that, that's a chance. There's gonna be a season two of Six Frames Podcast? Yep. <laughs> I don't know, they're gonna cancel us. <laughs> <laughs> Disney and Sony jokes by the time they hear it. <laughs> they cancel it. Huh. Nope, that's how you stop it. Nope, that's how you stop it. Wrong button. What's up, guys? Lamp here. Thank you for listening to Six Frames Podcast. If you like what you heard, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel at Six Frames Podcast. Don't forget to click the bell for notifications. If you want to talk directly to us, feel free to email us at sixframepodcast at gmail.com. That's six frame podcast at gmail.com. You can find us on Podbean and Apple Podcasts. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. You can also follow our RTSs on our social media platforms Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Take care and stay wild.